Greetings, I'm Maxo Diddley, and today I'm going to be showing you how to loop music using Python. If you want to know how to play music using Python, click the eye up in the corner. So let's get right into it. Firstly, right click on your project, go to open folder in File Explorer, and this is going to open up where your Python project is. We have got a WAV file called quagsire.wav. We're going to be looping this audio file. You can put the file wherever you want, but we've put it in here so we can just use the file name to access it. Accessing this folder may be different for other IDEs. So let's get into the code. Firstly, you want to import WinSound because we'll be needing that to play audio. And just a disclaimer, this will only work on Windows and will only play WAV files. And to loop audio, we need to do just one line of code. We're going to do winsound.playsound, quagsire.wav, this is basically the same as last time, but with a different file name. Then we do winsound.snd underscore loop. You know what? This makes sense. We're telling the code to loop for sound. And then also we've got winsounds.async. And we use a plus so we can have multiple of these in the flag parameter. So winsound snd underscore loop, that makes sense. We're just telling it to loop. But why have we got async and what does it mean? So winsounds.snd underscore async allows sound to play asynchronously, basically meaning we could play multiple sounds or have the program do other stuff while the music's looping. And that's it for now. So we're going to hit save and hit play. And you might be thinking, Max, nothing happened. What's going on here? Well, basically, there's one more thing we need to do if we're going to play something asynchronously. Underneath, we're going to do val equals input, then some text, and this line just gets user input. Basically, if we're going to do anything asynchronously, we need Python to be doing something else, otherwise the program's just going to close. So what's a good thing to do? Well, if Python's waiting for user input, it's not going to close until it gets that user input, meaning this sound can keep playing and you can hear the wonderful voice of Quagsire. So we're going to save our code and hit play. As you can see, the beautiful voice of the Pokemon Quagsire is being looped. And if we type in something like, we can actually type in anything and hit enter, everything stops. Because Python's no longer waiting to do something else, it's run out of stuff to do, and then the program's going to close. But while we were awaiting the user input, Python was actively doing something. It was waiting for your input. And so that music can continue looping because the program was open. And that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. And subscribe if you want to see more Python tutorials. Thanks for being a great audience and I will see you next time.